Hi guys, welcome to Shokaholic. My name is Asti. Today I'm going to try a cooking method called sous vide. Sous vide in French means under vacuum. It is a method of cooking food in an airtight plastic bag and then being placed in a water bath in a controlled temperature environment. The intention for this technique is to cook the food evenly, ensuring that the inside is properly cooked without overcooking the outside and retaining the moisture. To accurately regulate the cooking temperature, most high-end restaurant has this sous vide machine. Today, I'm going to experiment this cooking technique by just using a regular pot. I won't be seasoning the fish because I will be making a raspberry balsamic dressing to the fish. The key to successfully cook the fish on a stove top method is holding the water at a steady temperature long enough to cook the food. You need to adjust the stove burner and when the temperature rises, just add some water to maintain the temperature. Without the sous vide machine, you need to keep an eye on the temperature and the fish all the time. And when the desired temperature reaches, remove the fish and let the fish cool down. Next, let's do the dressing for the fish. Raspberry balsamic to fish may sound a little odd, but trust me, you're gonna love it. I can give you three descriptions on this sauce. It's fruity, acidic, and smooth. We will be having smashed potato to this dish. Andreas has cooked some potato in a pot with some salt water and he used this gadget to smash those potatoes. We use this gadget very often. We can smash sweet potato, carrots and all kinds of vegetables. I'm including links to all the products used in this video on the top right hand corner. Now the potatoes are done, let's plate the dish. To give this fish a kick, I'm adding wasabi to the fish. For a unique flavor, I'm adding defrost strawberries. And of course, smashed potato. I like my fish to be a little salty, so I season it with Himalayan salts. And look at this, isn't this beautiful? For crispy surface, you can shear the fish using a kitchen torch. To some of you, the fish might look raw, but to me, it was perfectly cooked. It's one of the most delicious salmon dishes I've ever eaten. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would really appreciate if you could share this video to someone who loves fish. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.